Good morning, everybody. We're doing five minutes alone with authors Christos Chilkas and Omar Musa. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Aggie, yes, yes, indeed. All right. First question for both of you: Who or what do you read? Um, well, at the moment, I'm actually I'm reading uh, Patrick White. I'm reading Voss, which I've never read before, and it blew, it's blown me away. I just finished it yesterday. And I'm reading uh, the Van Morrison biography by Grail Marcus as well at the moment. Uh, and Grail Marcus is one of my favourite writers of all time. To be honest, I'm actually reading this man's book at the moment, which is kind of funny. You're getting paid to say that, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Big bucks in that. Um, in the envelope. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, but, you know, in terms of poets that I'm reading, I'm reading Pessoa at the moment, a great Portuguese poet, and I'm reading some of Bertolt Brecht's poetry, which is really inspiring me at the moment as well. I also have to say, I've just uh, started the Kei Tazanaki, the Japanese novel, he's, he's a master. Okay, next question. Um, what was the best advice you were ever given as a writer? St uh, make the time, put the hours in. Uh, can I swear? Yeah, just not to give a fuck what anyone thinks. Just to go go for it. Balls to the wall. Of all the characters that you've created, all the subject themes that you've dealt with, to which are you most attached? Ooh. Well, my stuff is all about myself. So I'm very attached to myself, <laughs> definitely. Um, yeah, I, I don't really create characters and, and things like that. You know, it's all that... In hip-hop, it's, it's a bit weird because the persona and the person are collapsed into one, and, you know, so it's sort of all about me. <laughs> I would have to say, in a strange, uh, no, I, I would say the, the character of Manonius, which is one of the characters in the slap, he's the um, old man, um, Greek migrant in, in Australia, um, and I guess actually trying to get into the head of that character, he felt like uh, being able to say a huge thank you to my father, which I've been wanting to say for a long time. And so I kind of feel, I feel like he doesn't necessarily share a lot of views that I do. He's not, he's not me, but if I could have that sense of honour that that character has, that I think those, that generation of migrants had, if I can develop that as, a, as I age, I would be very, very happy. Let's talk about writing process for a second. In terms of process, how do you do it? Are you a fly by the seat of your pants kind of guy, or are you a strict outliner? How does it work for you? Um, all of my stuff is very, very spontaneous, but it's taken years of training and practicing and writing every day um, to get to a point where I can go into the studio, listen to the music, um, get a feel for what the music's about, and then write everything there and then. Um, you know, sometimes I'm wary of these hip hop artists who say that they don't write anything down, they just go straight in because uh, it can be a bit chaotic, you know. Um, but I feel that it's a risk I'm willing to take in the hope that it's more spontaneous and hopefully more honest if I go there and I just write it there and then. Uh, it's sort of like unlocking something and it pours out. Also, I said that the best advice I got was about actually putting in the hours and it's, I, I, I've said for a long time that I think what we do is like an apprenticeship, but an apprenticeship that doesn't end. I mean, and the way you learn those skills, the way you learn the trade of what you're doing is actually by doing the work and discovering the work. So I get up in the morning and I, I write. You know, I give myself a, a word limit, I give myself a, a certain time that I want to do uh, writing. Um, and it, every time you start something new, especially a novel, you feel like you look at the blank page and you're terrified. You feel like actually you've learnt nothing of this time. And then as you begin, you realise, that's why it's like an apprenticeship, yeah, you do have certain skills you've, you've picked up. Um, you've picked up certain knowledges about what, what you're doing. So that's kind of my daily life as a writer, but then there are those moments where you wake up at two o'clock in the morning with an idea that can't leave you, and I start writing, and you may write till nine in the morning and then, and then fall asleep, and that becomes your weekend. <laughs> and then obviously the editing, is so important, you know, because if you risk it and you just write everything spontaneously, you know, some of it will work and some of it just won't. So I always describe it as you you, you write in passion and then you edit in cold blood. You know, what, that's what pretty much that's it. Okay, final question for you guys. Uh, can you share with us one thing about yourselves that most people don't know? 
that if I'm in a, you know, if I'm having a really bad time, my guilty pleasure is the Sandra, Sandra Bullock movie while you were sleeping. <laughs> I can't believe I've put that out on the freaking world wide web. There you go. Um, <laughs> I usually have perfect time. <laughs> uh, I think one thing people don't know about me is that I, I love cats and I'm obsessed with cats. And I know a lot of different breeds <laughs> of cats and things and there's nothing I like more than just sort of hanging out and talking to them. <laughs> Brilliant guys, oh, Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, thank you very much both of you for your time. Hope you both have a great festival. Bye bye. Thank you.